each state in the United States has a different election law and they require quite different things and there is a there is no uh, there's no strong motivation or allowance for the United States itself to uh, require things of the states with regard to election that's because of the Constitution there is this one law the Help America Vote Act which caused the uh, overseas and military voters to get a special treatment that is uniform across all the states. But that's just in terms of when they get the ballot and when it gets returned and the fact that there is some uh, means of assistance provided. In the United States, there are several kinds of districts that might appear on a ballot. A district is generally a geographical area that represents some political uh, distinction. And we have ones that are ordinary and predictable, like the state legislature or the U.S. Senate or so. Those are specific districts. And then we have school districts. And then we have things or municipal districts, which may uh, have decide what their territory is independent of all these other districts. And then we have special districts, which are schemes for taxing the people where a, uh, a fire, uh, uh, fire district might be created or a sanitation district for sewage removal or so it might be created to have a separate election where the, uh, the voters decide to tax themselves. And they, uh, it turns out to be very convenient and found to be a very convenient way to get voters to give up more tax money by having the tax decision appear in a uh, what appears a very minor uh, exceptional kind of place on the ballot but what happens is these different districts all get coordinated onto one election on one day and that results in dozens of decisions being made on a specific ballot sometimes up to 40 or 50 different ca uh, candidate choices plus or contests plus these uh, questions about policy which include taxation uh, could be added on and the ballot might run to several pages of paper in fact so the uh, That means that that obviously increases the challenge for verification by the voter and makes it less likely that the ballot Which is seen by the auditors would actually have been seen by the voter who was concerned whether the the uh, choices indicated there are correct and yet the result of the vote might be to tax the population significantly. So they would actually care uh, what the outcome of the election is. In the case of the United States, we have the uh, geographical area called a precinct, which is the smallest, uh, deliberately, the smallest group of voters. And originally, they would have all voted in the same polling place in a so-called precinct. And the political parties actually require that the ballots be reported by precinct, the results be reported by precinct, in order to understand uh, how to perform their get out the vote program and where they're more successful and not, and things of that nature. So uh, political, it's politically expedient for them to understand how these regions are voting. And although the election officials would rather not be reporting by the precinct, because that requires subdividing the election into more versions of the ballots. Sometimes the same ballot will go to multiple precincts, but each one has to have a number and each one has to be separately identified. And it's highly desirable from an anonymity point of view to not be uh, printing up different ballots for each precinct. But in fact, in even your elections in Colorado, in the United States, that's what we, we're actually required to to uh, report these, these uh, ballots, the results by precinct. And that's seen as a positive, not a negative, thus far. There is a concern where there is a fire district or so that uh, carves across the precinct boundaries and causes one voter or five voters to get a particular style of ballot, which means the, that particular set of contests on one ballot might go to very few people, even only one. And if it goes to only one, then for sure that ballot is identifiable to that voter. And that is a very undesirable situation to have. 
and we do have to somehow deal with that situation, preferably by changing the way the, the uh, district lines are written or uh, the fact that that particular district was added onto that ballot, that particular piece of paper. And I'm actually advocating for a scenario where multiple sheets of paper might be used so that any given sheet of paper does not become identifiable to a voter, but the set of papers that the voter ballot on voted on might be identifiable to the voter. So you would separate them in the election and not allow them to be correlated together.